every Junkrat player knows that the one thing you're not supposed to do is this. Ugh. Reaper used Death Blossom, and just by instinct, I threw a mine at him and gave him play of the game. I saved my ass, but our poor Farah. Here I am playing Ana, and a teammate Junkrat does it. Well, why sleep him when you can just, uh, just let the whole team get killed? Thanks, Junkrat. But, even though this is the most amateur thing you can do as a Junkrat, it's so close to being one of the most advanced things you can do with Junkrat. Watch. I'm up here on Gibraltar, and Reaper shows up. No big deal, I get away from him. But a few seconds later, I see him up there again. Now, I know what he's up to. We all know what Reaper's up to when he keeps going to a high ground like that. Now here is where the amateur move turns into the advanced move. Reaper jumps off the edge, and we know he is going to use Death Blossom. And I do the one thing you should not do. I throw a mine at him. And it saves my team. But why? Why was that good? And every other time it's terrible. By the way, I saved the team, but then he kills them all anyway, so, you know, whatever. The thing to keep in mind is that Junkrat's mine sends somebody up into the air no matter where it ignites around them. You can ignite it above somebody's head and it'll still put them up. So when Reaper jumps off the edge, he starts his Death Blossom, assuming he's gonna fall down into the team. But with my mine, I pop him back up almost all the way on top of the ledge. And by the time he comes back down, he's already finished his ultimate and everybody on the team has had time to get away. It's the most amateur thing to do, throwing a mine at an ulting reaper, unless he is dropping down onto your team and you can catch him while he's still in the air. If you catch him while he's in the air, you will pop him back up and he will waste his ultimate. And then, hopefully, your team doesn't just uh, run into him and die after that. Good luck. Give it a shot.